What's up YouTube, this is BSAT Investing, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, be sure to subscribe and join us on our journey. Please know that this is for your entertainment, I'm not a financial advisor. Invest safe, think for yourself, and do your own research. Without further ado, let's get into today's video. Before we get started, I just wanted to say something. Uh, someone used my link for the World Simple uh, referral and I was able to get a, let's see here. $25 reward so I use that to buy bed farm so all right let's get that that's out of the way and yeah welcome this is our 10x 10k 1k to 10k challenge and currently we are oh uh, uh, no we are at $3,400 <clears throat> sitting at minus 80 cents I mean minus 0.8 percent and Throughout the day looks good. <clears throat> bed farm, bingo. Okay, looks like big bed farm is the only one that's up. All right, so let's get just go into bed farm here first. Let's see. So I did add about eight shares. So that's why the average price went up to three hundred nine. I bought it at two seventy. Uh, let's see. So, wait. 272 no 372 let's see here yeah 372 and yeah total eight shares okay <clears throat> I'm expecting these now these are like the crypto stocks that I have um, these are kind of not uh, doing that great per se kind of um, the, game, the name of the game here is to get into the US market because these are Canadian and in the OTC market so these are not getting recognized as uh, well as what Mara and Riot is and Mara and Riot they're not even like they're not even <laughs> that good like at the moment Hive and Bitfarm and uh, sorry Bitfarm and Heart they're way better than Mara and Riot what the hell these guys are priced like 10 times more what the hell don't make sense well at least around 20 bucks so I'm expecting I once we get into the US market with these crypto stocks we're in like these guys are gonna rock it okay now bingo let's see what happened to bingo throughout the day up and down all good sitting at minus 1% 1105 after hours at 1090 yeah, that's fine. It's just a reaction to the cancer. Yeah, it looks like a little pullback. People are selling. It's all good. The overall thing hasn't changed. I'm still bullish. Okay, so we got a little news here. It says the presentation recordings from Bingo's uh, Next Generation Cytogenomics Symposium. It's most attended event to date. Now available online. All right. All right. It had over 15,000 session registrations and more than 6,400 views. Looks like around the world. I'm guessing these are just mainly PhDs and you know people, experts that understand like yeah what they're talking about. So nothing major. Looks like prominent showcase to date. And how Sapphire comprehensively detects structural SVs uh, in a wide range of clinical and research applications. We are pleased by the enthusiasm we've seen from the scientific community around the world. Okay. So it seems like it was just the scientific community and access to its data. Okay. Well, like I said, nothing major here. <clears throat> okay. Let's get into Hive. Hive blockchain. Um, Hive is down. That's fine. Let's see. Sitting at nine percent total return at eighty-eight dollars. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Nothing major. I don't think. So. Yeah. There's no news. Hmm. It's just the Bitcoin and Ethereum price. Uh, going down a bit not much but 
bit farm, bit farm. Let's see, hut eight, <clears throat> hut dot to, hut dot to. Okay. All right. So in my perspective, hut eight, bit farm, and being um, hive. And actually, in the news also, uh, these guys are like heavily shorted. People want to see it go down. It's getting suppressed a lot. So that's why you're seeing uh, not much of a reaction to the rising up, up and down prices of Bitcoin and Ethereum. So Bitfarm seems to have the biggest uh, reaction overall and then HUD 8 and then after that Hive. So Hive seems to be more stable and obviously, well, they're the biggest market cap. So I think Hive is at $967 million Canadian. So yeah. Okay. So uh, yeah, tip of the day. Uh, actually, the stock that I am looking into is, uh, let me see here. It was DGHI. It's a Canadian it's in the Canadian market. It shot up 31% today. Uh, overall, yeah. This seems like a good one to pick up. They don't have much debt. Um, they're producing barely like, like about one, less than one Bitcoin a day. They're mining that much. Yeah, it's because of the hash rate. They're limited by the hash rate. Once, uh, they get more investments, they get more hash rate going on, they get the miner, anti-miners in. We'll see, uh, we'll see more production out of them, and then hopefully they hodl their Bitcoin and uh, sell it at a later date when it's high, but we'll see how they do. I'm gonna add uh, DigiHost technology into my portfolio. Uh, it's just a matter of time. I'm not sure if I should put it into... Uh, the wealth simple account or maybe my portfolio like my bigger account so we'll see because i don't have any extra cash here to buy digihost at the moment so and it's only one dollar uh we'll see how uh, it ha how it works how it reacts on monday and uh if i decide to buy i will definitely let you guys know and uh thank you for watching and uh please like and subscribe feel free to like and subscribe for more content and more challenges challenge video we're doing really good like if you see we're at 33 3400 dollars really good returns so far and we should even see more and higher returns so yeah let's just end it right there thank you for watching and uh peace